Hi everybody. Today we're going to be doing something new on my channel. Eric and I are going to be opening a subscription box that we decided on. Um, we looked through many different ones and this is the one we decided to do because it best suited us. Yeah, we looked through a bunch of different ones um, online, all the, diff all the different uh, subscription services that are out there right now. Um, we decided on a, a, a Yatsu box. Um, they are, just like all the others, a monthly subscription service uh, that uh, provides uh, a uh, can that does candy, Japanese snacks. Uh, what they kind of what set them apart from the other ones that we liked was it also includes a um, it also includes a little uh, toy, like a little Gashapon toy um, that's supposed to be included with each uh, monthly uh, monthly shipment that they send you. So. Um, so yeah, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna see, uh, get to choose and, and try a bunch of different types of candies and snacks from Japan, um, as well as see uh, what kind of little toy that they are going to provide. Um, this is about the size of the box that they uh, they sent us here. We haven't opened it yet, um, so it's going to be new for us too. So we're gonna go through and look at all the different snacks and everything that they gave us, the toy that's supposed to come with it. Um, we're gonna try our best to uh, describe each item and how it tastes, and uh, uh, we're kind of excited because, you know, we obviously in here in the state of Virginia don't have very many Japanese snacks to choose from. Yeah, it's very limited here yeah. for that kind of thing. So. We're looking forward to this, and if you're interested in learning more about the subscription box, we'll put the link in the description, so then you can go and see how pricing is and everything if you're interested in um, being a part of it as well. Yeah. So I guess we'll go ahead and open it up and see what we got this morning. Go ahead and start opening it. I'd like to also apologize up front. Um, we'll try our best uh, Americanized version of uh, saying the Japanese names for some of these things. Um, One thing you'll know about me, like if you follow a lot of my videos, is I mispronounce things quite a lot. I Americanize a lot of things, so I do try to apologize for that and, uh, you know, I learn as I go on. But this is the little pamphlet that came this month. It has a cute little mascot for them on the cover and we do get a nice list of all the candies that we'll be trying out and all the snacks. So uh, that way we can know what we're going to be eating. So do you want to pick up the first one? Sure. Um, the one that stands out to me is this bigger bag here. Oh, what's that? That one be Ozak Fried uh, Goiza Chips. Yeah, Goza chips. It's Ozak a, fried Goza chips. It's Japanese potato chips. Yeah. Um, they're even more delicious when deep fried, it says. So I guess those are my There's what the packaging looks like. Um, it looks like, almost like, like fried dumplings. Yeah, it looks like fried dumplings, dumplings at the top picture. Obviously with uh, chips. So, there's the bag, the back of the bag. And it's all in Japanese, except for a little pink that explains to us what we're going to be eating. So oh, that's good. <laughs> open it up. What's it smell like? It smells like fried, you know, something like you go to a, a kind of Asian market and yeah, smell their fried, uh, whatever they're frying, like a fried chicken or something like that. Try it same time. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's good. I like it. They're um, they don't have a. It's not a very overpowering taste to them. Um, no, it. Uh, it just it you know it's a consistency of a normal potato chip, kind of. You don't get the potato chip flavor until like right after. Yeah. Kind of looks like a um, kind of looks like a beat up Pringle. <laughs> it is good though. In terms of, there's a hint of. I can taste a hint of garlic in there too. Man, garlic. 
and the soy, soy mm -hmm. sauce. But it's good. I could, mm -hmm. I could tear up a bag of these in one sitting. Wow, well, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like them. They're kind of, like the garlic, it's a bit of a spice to them too. I think uh, probably more because of the garlic that's on them. Yeah, they're kind of spicy, but they're kind not of, like yeah. super spicy. Oh, just no. very little. It's just a just a hint of it, but it's it's good. I liked it. I can I, I can eat those. All right, next we have high chew peach. Uh, it looks to be like a gum gum candy. But uh, I guess we'll find it. It's supposed to be according to the pamphlet. Oh, this is what it looks like, by the way. <laughs> Before I destroy the packaging. But it's supposed to be according to the pamphlet. It says it's supposed to be obviously a uh, based on the name, a peach flavored. Uh, peach flavored. Yeah, I'm guessing some kind of gum. Yeah, it looks like gum to me, but well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. It says high chew, but it might be like a Starburst, maybe. <laughs> The packaging is very cute. It's got kind of, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's got kind of like a little character on the, uh, the packaging there. Yeah, a little kissy like a character. Ki kissy face. But this is the size of candy it is. It's, uh, it, uh, almost like a consistency of like a, a Starburst, basically. It looks and feels and you can swoosh it like a Starburst. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Very chewy. Very chewy. It's um... <coughs> Look at that part out. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> but yeah, it was very good. It's very, very much like Starburst to me. Except a little bit, a uh, little bit chewier. It, um, it takes a bit more, uh, a bit more chewing to. To con you know, completely consume it, mm. but it's good. It's actually it tastes really good. So it's not a gum. It is actually just like a chewy type candy, so. Too, like a taffy or something like that. Yeah, it's very good. So what do we have next? Calorie mate chocolate. Calorie a, mate chocolate. It's an interesting name. Balanced food. Calorie mate block. And it does have English on it. According to the pamphlet, it uh, has 11 types of vitamins and 6 types of minerals, all within a, a chocolate type uh, biscuit. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, a good source of energy and nutrition at breakfast, work, sports, study, or any busy time. Huh. Let's try it out. Let's guess what this tastes like. It comes in a little foil bag. Okay, these are big, long, long sticks. I like biscuits in the So I guess we'll just break one in half. Try these. Mm. Mm, it tastes like a biscuit. Yeah. It's, um, it's softer, like a, I'm gonna say, a, like a cakey, uh, Consistency because it's not it, it's it's like a, it's a biscuit, but it's it tastes kind of like a dry chocolate pop tart. Yeah, mainly. yeah, actually that's pretty good. Yeah. About mm -hmm. the consistency of a, a pop tart uh, without the filling in it. But, yeah, it's uh, not bad, but it's not just... bad. It's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. It's not doesn't have a lot of sweetness to it, which is um I guess the point of it, you know, to be more of a uh, a nutritional alternative to uh, uh, to a snack. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, but it does. It tastes just like a cho chocolate pop tart to me. Yeah, without heating it up. <laughs> so, okay, so what's, uh, what's next? Um, next um, car Carol. Oh. 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 No. It is, did you get it? Or is it? 
Ah, I'm still looking. <laughs> Is this one? No. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the okay. one. Okay, the... There you go. It's the car Carapoli Cola and Ramune. Hmm. Okay. Crispy yet chewy at the same time. Carapoli are thin sticks split into cola and soda flavors. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what it is. Little characters right there. So there's like two different flavors, I think, in here. You got a blue one. Mm -hmm. And you have a red one. And do you put do you put this in something? Or I don't know. It doesn't say what um, if you're supposed to consume it in a certain manner. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go with a blue we're one. The same split in the cola and soda flavor, so I don't know if um it smells like bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> that one's kind of wow. broke. It is. Very, it's very strong. Very sugary. Tastes it's kind of got a fizz to it. A little fizz. Uh, very sweet. It's good. It definitely is tasty. <laughs> it's good. I like it. It's, um, a hint of, hint of a gum flavor to me, if you ask me. I don't know. But it's, um, it's very sweet, especially right, sweet to the, you know, to the palate, but it's, it's... This one, I guess, is the cola one, I would say. Oh, is that like a red package? You want that one? Yeah. Might as well. But yeah, it does... <clears throat> Tastes like gum a little bit. That's the. That definitely tastes like soda. It's good. But yeah. It's, oh yeah. It's just as sweet as the last one with the t with a, a strong Ooh. soda flavor. That one is very strong. It's good. But it definitely tastes like soda. Mm -hmm. It's good. I, I like it. Can't have too many of them. Yeah, that would be like every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a. Tree Very strong. Right there. But it's good. So that's them. So so far everything we've ate has been pretty good. What's next? <clears throat> and next is this one. The Hora, Hora de Kita. Do it yourself popsicle. Do it yourself popsicle. Hora de Kita. Do it yourself popsicle. And this is the package. And you just have cute little bears and a penguin up there. Judging from the pictures on the back, it looks like... It looks like a pixie stick. Yeah. Or, you know, little powdery stick candies that they have over here. To dip the flavoring in them. Yeah, they, they mention the instructions on the back. Yeah, well, there's the instructions. They're in graphic. They have a graphic picture on the back of them. Give you a little bit of help and guidance on how to do it yourself. Let's see how this goes. Looks like it might be a little messy. But... Okay. So it comes with a little tray. Dropping some of the ingredients. And it's like a powder concoction. And this is this is interesting. This is like a gel. And then like a gel with like sugar gel. And then he's got these different colored blocks. There's a pink one and a blue one. And then you got little sticks to work with. Okay, so what does it say we need to do on there? Okay, so looks like the powder and the gel get split into the two separate uh, Contain, uh, compartments there are right. separated. Um, do they? Okay. 
just pour it in. Yeah, just pour it in. And put the powder in the next compartment. So there's two, um, looking at the tray, there's two compartments, uh, two primary compartments. Um, one, the, uh, yes, one goes the gel in. goes in and the other, the powder goes in. And you're supposed to take the sticks and um, stick them into the little candy blocks it comes with. And then dip your candy block into the gel, the clear gel, and then dip it from there into the powdery substance. Alright, so this is what we got so far. It's kind of like the powders in this one and the gels in that one. And we got the sticks with the candy in the ends. So I've dipped my candy into the gel. Dip it into the powder. Dip it into the powder. Swirl it around a bit to get a lot on there. I'm just going to take it. Oh my god. I want it to get a little messy down there. Okay. That's, that tastes good. I have powder all over me. Because the powder does fall off the gel stuff. It's very a sweet. A lot of sugar. It's very sweet. Now, what I don't know is, should I be licking this thing, or should I take the whole thing off the stick and start chewing it? I'm glad. Because, I mean, <laughs> it's considered a, they call it a popsicle. I don't know, I don't really say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't, they call Showed it a, you how it's done. Yeah, they call it a popsicle, so me, uh, I'm thinking I'm like a licking the thing all day long. But it definitely gives you a lot of like ingredients for like two little candies. Yeah. Well, well you get two pink and you get two blue. But you still don't get a whole lot. I'm not gonna double dip so. You don't want another one? <laughs> I'll take the other one. Come on well. There's only four blocks. You can't really store it. This is kind of like a one-time thing so. Yeah. You either have to have it now or or not at all. So, let's stick the sucker in there. It's pretty tough. This is like a really tough gum, almost. No. Consistency of like a really tough gum. I'm gonna put a lot on there this time. I'll load it up. Alright. Yeah, because we got a lot of extra material. So am I. I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak this thing in whatever this gel is. By the way, I'm gonna dip my finger in this gel and see what you... I tasted it earlier. It didn't taste like anything. It doesn't, it actually. can't really taste anything on the gel itself. But uh, the powder, that is like a strong, strong sweet. Either sweet or either powdered sugar or like a, like a su sweetener substitute. It's really, really it's pretty strong. Nice. So, okay, so I've soaked <laughs> the thing in gel. I'm gonna do it again. Get the rest of it. You're really gel loading it up. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. powder. Powder it up. Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> it's a little too much for me. Yeah. A little too much for me. Oh my god. Well, the second one is probably even more <laughs> strong than the first. I don't. I don't like it. Sorry. I, I mean, don't it's like not it. bad. It's just. It's really. Wow. <laughs> it's really sweet. It tastes awesome to me. That's probably one of my favorite ones so far, but it is a it is a punch in the teeth. It is like you gotta brush your teeth at that. Yeah, I'm gonna need a swig of water. I don't know about you, but it kind of has like a it has like a minty minty taste afterward. That's probably not healthy. Mm. Oh. It looks like a crack addict. <laughs> Horticata addict. Horticata. I love this stuff. Get it off my face. I'm breathing it in. Yeah, I know. That stuff like stuff's all over. It very gets, it gets, fine. <laughs> it gets everywhere when you stick it on your nose. All right, all right. My uh, mouth is fully yeah. saturated with sugar. What's next? Okay. Um. Next on the list. Setu uh, Setuuchi. Wow. 
Yeah. That's all you made. <laughs> Satoshi peony gummies. And uh, gummy candies. Um, Special gummy candies made only in Setoichi City in, the ha in Honshu, Japan. Alright, it's back. Off the Japanese back there. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to get into, though. I just can't get that other. Oh my god, right? Okay. I love kind of like a minty aftertaste. Did it do the... A okay. little bit. A little bit. Oh, these are kind of squishy. Look at that. Yeah. Gummy candy. Squishy. Not not sticky. They've got like crystals on the outside of it. Um, it's like a sugar content. It's kind of weird. Almost, it, it has that uh, white grape smell. Wait, like, <clears throat> yeah. That's good. That's good. It just tastes like grapes. Yeah. And I like that it doesn't have like a whole lot of sugar. <laughs> just a little bit, just like it, a little hint. It's not super strong or nothing. It's sweet, but it's not. It's not overpowering sweet. It. Mm. And it's, it's obviously a white, kind of like a white grape. But, I know. Taste to it, but it's good. I like it. It's good, yeah. That one's good. Oh, I like fruit candies, so that one's definitely neat. Yeah, that one's good. Uh, next on the list, Pokemon Ramen. Soy. Uh, how are we going to this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it does have like a Pokeball on there. Pokeball. And it Pikachu has Pikachu's. face. Pikachu's face on the front. Oh, yeah, Pikachu's face is on the front. I didn't notice that. Oh, there's the tops. That's Pokeball. And I guess there's pieces inside shaped like Pikachu. Alright, so you want to open that? Alright. We got some hot water. We're going to put it in. Open it up. Get the plastic off of it. Um, open it to what I'm assuming is like most other ramen cups. There's like arrows pointing at like a stop line so it probably means to open it up halfway. What's that? I got like a Pikachu. little Pikachu stamp. Okay. I killed it. <laughs> inside inside are our little Pikachu heads. Pikachu. Uh, little Pikachu heads. I don't know what it's made out of. It's the special ingredient. Yeah. Little Pikachu heads inside there. I think this is like a sticker. Pikachu sticker. Okay. You want to hand me the hot water? Okay. Okay, so. It's really hot. <laughs> it's on. Yeah, you might want to use the hand. <laughs> So since this doesn't have a pouring spout, I'm probably it's soy flavored. Probably going to get water everywhere. But we'll try it anyways. Do whatever you think. Oh yeah, water everywhere. Oh, yeah. Good thing for the sink. It says to repair, simply fill with hot water to the line, cover, and let sink for a few minutes. All right. Well. Yeah, what is it? Fill with hot water to the line. Maybe line means the brim? Well, I filled it up enough to put, enough to cover the noodles. So I think that's good. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be fine. So, cover it up. I'm not really expecting to taste anything more than ramen, yeah. but we'll see. <laughs> We've all had that. Okay. We'll cover that up, set it aside for now. We'll come back to that last. Let it, we'll let that brew. Let it brew for a little bit. All right, what we got next? Oh. Cowpeas ball candy. All right, so that's this. This is what the package looks like on the back. They're little white ball candies. They're um, yogurt, yogurt gummy candies. Oh, I like gummy candies. Yeah. Smells like glue. <laughs> oh god, I can 
can tell you right now, hopefully it tastes better than that, what it smells. It doesn't smell right. Uh, they're not really Sem round, but they're kind of like... Semi-cubes? Yeah, semi-cubes. And they're like hard. other candies I've had before, but I just can't. And now it's kind of tastes like a Skittles. Yeah, actually it does. It tastes like Skittles. It tastes like a big Skittle. Mm -hmm. And it's about the same consistency, too. The flavor? Calfee's flavor. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> it tastes like Skittles. No, those are good. I don't like that, maybe. Six in the package. Yeah, the small package. Tastes good, smells bad. And it smells like blue, it really does. <laughs> it does. I don't know if it's the candy itself or just the packaging, oh, but no. you open up the packaging and it just smells inside. So, But it tastes good. It actually is good. If you're a fan of uh, Skittles, you'll like those. Yeah. Um, next is uh, the big one of the big containers, Chicobi Mexican Taco. <laughs> so, it's got a it's pink got... alligator with a mustache, That's... or it could be a crocodile. Hold on. I've got crayon, it's crayon Shin Chan on the side. Oh yeah, it does. And a little. I've never seen all of the show of Crayon Shin Chan, so I don't know every character, but it looks like it's got a character list from the show. It's, on it. it's got him on top. Box too, like and he's on top, like a Mexican us. hat, maracas and stuff like that. <laughs> so, I to open it, it looks like it has a perforation edge on it. Oh, it does have uh, a perforated edge. Here. Okay, so you stick, you punch that in on the side, pull it up, fold it over, and inside it is a bag and a small. Prize. It's like a prize of some got sort. Got him on there. He's dancing with kind of like a like a lamb or a dog. I'm not real sure. Maybe a dog. <laughs> uh, here's the bag of the actual goodies of themselves. Open that up. Doesn't smell bad. It smells good. Almost uh, like tomato soup in a way. Kind of smell. Here, smell. Oh, it does. It smells like tomato soup in a way. Like, but shaped into stars, look like little Biscuit. cheese puffs. Yeah. About the consistency of a cheese puff. But actually a hint, like a, like a sweet flavor to them. They are kind of sweet. They're really good. They're good. <laughs> it does. It tastes like... To me, it almost tastes more like a tomato soup, like a small hint of tomato well, soup. like sugar in it, which with sounds kind of weird, but it's it like actually fantastic. tastes pretty good. <laughs> I like them. Oh, you get a little foil card. A little foil card you get. It's kind of cute. But yeah, those are really. <laughs> these are fantastic. <laughs> they're really good. Yeah. I'll freaking tear these up all day. Well, save some for me. All right. <laughs> Sour apple juice is next on the list. Mm. It's got smiley faces on the back. Each one of them is happy to see you. And then on the back, it just kind of shows that they got some kind of chewy stuff in the inside, some kind of feeling. Oh, this is gum. This actually says gum on it. It is. They're apple flavored. Say anything more about it on there? Um, pretty much legit. It's found, it's a classic uh, Japanese candy found at uh, Degashi stores all over their all over the country. It's a tart and chewy candy. It tastes like apple. It smells like apple scented Play-Doh. It looks like Play-Doh. And it does kind of like <laughs> I don't, it does. I don't, I don't smell the Play-Doh, but it's got that. Oh here, smell like the inside of the wrapper. Oh yeah, maybe just the wrapping. But I don't know. 
candies and smell themselves have a strong sour apple smell to them. Oh yeah, it's a gum. Yeah, very, very easily chewed. Mm. Very sweet. Good sour apple taste. It's disintegrating a little bit. It is disintegrating quick. It's not your typical gum. Yeah, it's falling to pieces. It's going to be disappearing very soon. They're very, very good though. You only got three little balls in a, yeah. in a container. It tastes good. You wish it lasted a little longer. Actually, Actually it's, it's kind of sticking around now. I think what it is, I think it has an inner core to it. Of like a gummy, um, yeah. I think I'm figuring it out. It's like kind of got a gummy inner core well, that that part disintegrates real quickly, and it leaves behind the outer gum shell. It's very good though. It's, it's good. Cleaning out that other really strong sugary candy out of my mouth. I I like it. I don't know. It's good stuff. It doesn't last too long though. The flavor is kind of disappearing already. Yeah. But there it's good. Um, checking back on uh, Pikachu here. Is it cooked? It looks like it. It looks like it is. The little Pikachus look like little. Oh, the Pikachu pieces inside them all look like little like balloonies. I hope that Pikachu Which, piece is supposed to be in there. I only see the one. <laughs> well, on the picture on the outside of the container, it was inside of it. I mean. Well, if it isn't, we're eating a little bit of plastic, so... <laughs> I don't look like plastic, but... <laughs> all all for science. Alright, well, uh, this is ready to eat. Um, Alright, well, let me spit out my gum. Um, I'm not going to eat gum with it, so I'm going to spit out my gum. Alright, alright. I'm going to take a drink. Well, first of all, it, uh, I'm not, I can't tip it over, but, uh, it's, it looks just like every other ramen, yeah, it just ramen looks like cup ramen. You, you'll ever buy. Yeah. Nothing different, look-wise. very Pokemon. Nothing, there. nothing different, um, smell-wise, either. No, it smells the same. fact that you're eating out of Pikachu's head. And there's a little Pikachu piece of something or other in floating there. in there. <laughs> so that's undetermined if that's edible at the moment. But. All right. I apologize for using a fork. <laughs> yeah. I could have offended anybody. But I'm going to have to. It tastes good. Yeah, it just tastes like ramen. Tastes instant ramen. Tastes like any instant ramen you get, but it tastes fine. I like it. Probably the. I didn't have lunch today, so. Eat away. <laughs> um, it's good. Yeah. I like it. It just tastes like ramen. Yeah. It's got Pikachu. I only saw the one Pikachu piece. Yeah, it's got like four on the package, but I'm pretty sure it's just one in there. Unless they're floating or sinking to the bottom. Um, oh, good. That's it for the candies and all the snacks. Uh, the last thing that uh, we have left here is the uh, Gashapon. Uh, and this is a mystery one, like the candy, we have no idea what it is. Uh, yeah, even the pamphlet. It opens really easily compared to some of the others. <laughs> even the pamphlet itself uh, just states it a generic uh, ga Gashapon. Um, uh, figure. It doesn't state what you're getting at all. Alright. So. And I'm not sure exactly what this is, so if you're watching and you know what it is, please let us know. We'd love to know. Yeah. It's um, not something we are used to seeing. No. But and according to the packaging, it's, um, it's a mono, mono eye. It looks like a little like mecha robot. Your hand it. But it it looks like a crab as well. It's got little pinchers and a little like 
power pack on the back there. It is. It's very like a, pink. Like a mecha crab almost. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, there are a bunch in a set. One, three. It does have six. a little crab claw, so you can attach it to something. It is a. Uh, it is part of a set of what looks to be about six characters. We have the pink one there. Um, some of them are cat-like with cat ears, others with the uh, shells, uh, like crabs. And I guess you can kind of link them together. It's got an extra hook on the bottom there. Yes, you can. It has a little, just a little side picture here that shows them linked together. Mono but, Eye. We'll have to look that up and find out more about it. But yeah, Mono Eye um, Style 02 capsule. Just looks like a little crab robot. Yeah, it's cute, cute. But that was one of the things that kind of set a Yatsu box off. Uh, the reason why we chose them is we like the idea of not only being able to uh, experience different snacks from Japan like we like, but, but getting even you know getting the monthly uh, Gashapon figure uh, uh, with it is kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, it like a little bonus, kind of like going and getting a Happy Meal or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's more of a surprise. But uh, that's it. That's it for the box. Whole thing's empty. Yeah, no, so yeah. that was this month's. And it was pretty cool. I really had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I liked it. Everything tasted good. I There wasn't, you know, one, some things were more overpowering than others in terms of, uh, um, you know, how sweet it was. Um, but overall, everything tasted good and I'll probably will probably be spending the next couple of days killing off the rest of what's left over. Of course, uh, you'll kill off the ramen right now. Well, you can't save it. No, oh, okay. Might as well. Oh. But thanks so much for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know. Well, let us know what you think of this video, and uh, I will put in the description a little bit more about this and the website link so you could check it out and see what you think of it. We like it. We think it's worth the money. Mm -hmm. It's it's really fun. It really is to get a different one every month and you never know what you're going to get. So it's it's really it's really fun. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye.